Happy Friday, tribe. Good morning, guys. Happy three year anniversary, Iron Tribe Franklin. It's like we got Anne Marie, Danica, Laurel's in here. Good morning, you guys. Chandler, what's up, dude? Um, so you guys, uh, for equipment today, you're just going to want to make sure that you have a barbell, ideally. If you do not have a barbell, you could also use two dumbbells. Um, and there's also, uh, you could also use one dumbbell or you can also use two or one uh, kettlebells uh, would be totally fine. What's up Stacy? Good morning. So uh, also there is a 100 meter run today so uh, we're gonna have to learn how much my neighbors like me um, but ideally you guys have some room to run. If you don't have room to run I do have some scales for you to do instead of running so don't be afraid. Um, but there is a run today, so ideally you have somewhere to run. Morning, Chip. give it like another minute and then we'll get started in the meantime so uh, today's a big day for uh, ITF Franklin of course but uh, also a big day for some of you some of you guys so we've got a birthday today so Jeff Land and Sarah Legan both share a birthday with Iron Tribe, so happy birthday, guys. And we got a lot of tribe anniversaries today. So, uh, John Heyman, one year anniversary, congrats. And then three years for Kelly Crow, Ryan Burke, Sherry Heilman, Terry Hall, Tom Ellis, and Boone. You guys are all founding members. Uh, so, thank you guys for sticking with us all this time. And three year tribe anniversary, that's a big deal. So, congratulations, guys, on your tribe anniversary. Very cool. All right, team. Well, uh, let's warm up. Let's get started. Now, um, at some point during our warm up, if you run into not having anywhere to run, uh, mention in the comments just so I know how many we have who don't have a run, and then um, I'll make sure to give you guys a good scale. Okay. So whether we can run a distance or not, right now I want us to run in place. So let's run in place. Ready, set, go. Let's go to jumping jacks. All right, now let's go into butt kicks. now is get some good mornings. Probably one of my favorite warm-ups. So slide in the knee, hands back of the head. Let's go ahead and get 10 good mornings on this good morning. All 
All right, cool. Now, guys, we'll do a punter's kick into a mule kick. All right, so make sure there's nothing behind you. You're going to knock down. Punter's kick into a mule kick. I want you to do that four times per leg. So we'll go to a tabletop position, so all fours. I want you guys to get some fire hydrants. Okay, so we'll get 10 of these per leg. All right, so this next one's a little funny. Let me make sure that you guys can see me. Okay. So, the next one you're gonna lay on your belly. All right, so lay on our belly. Hands kinda out in front of us like we're about to do one of those Superman holds, okay? And you're gonna bring each knee up and try to get them close to your elbow, okay? So what it'll look like, bring your knee up, get it as close to your elbow as you can, and bring it down. Knee up and down. I'm going to do that 10 times per leg. All right, and now from that same position, guys, we're gonna get some leg raises. So I'll point my right toe, let's say I'm starting my right leg. I'm gonna squeeze my butt and then send my leg straight up to the sky and back down, all right? Let's get 10 of those per side. All right, once we've done 10 of those per side, you guys can go ahead and stand up. Oh, good morning, Alex. All right, so now guys, we'll just do some of those infant squats. So I'm gonna take uh, feet shoulder width apart, take my fingertips, put them up under my toes, and sink the bottom of the squat. And try to press those knees out if you can. Now slowly lift your butt to the sky. And back down to the squat. Hips to the sky again. Back into a squat. Hips to the sky. And stand. All right, cool. Now, guys, we'll get some false jumps. So you're going to load up your arms and legs like you're going to jump as high as you can. Throw those arms and legs like you're gonna jump, just don't jump, okay? Let's go ahead and get 10 false jumps. All right, cool. So, if you have a barbell, and I hope you do, or if you have two dumbbells, whatever toys you're using to play today, let's go ahead and grab those. Alright guys, so I'll demonstrate how to do this stuff with a barbell first, and then I've got a couple dumbbells that I'll show you guys what to do. So first, we're just going to start off with some barbell deadlifts. Okay, so nothing special, but we want to keep our back nice and flat, starting at that position 3, mid-shin. 
Go ahead and stand that thing all the way up. Squeeze your glutes. Your, squeeze your glutes, excuse me, at the top, your, or your glutes. Let's go ahead and get seven of those. If we're using two dumbbells today, dumbbells are on the outside of our stance, and we're deadlifted in like so. All right, seven of those deadlifts. All right, after those seven, now we'll get seven hang cleans. So I'm gonna get a slight bend of the knee, take that barbell to just above my knee, jump catch into that power position. Again, slight bend of the knee, right above the knee, that's my starting position today, and jump catch. If I have dumbbells, head lift up, drop just on the outside of my knees, jump catch. Let's go ahead and get seven of those. All right, now from there, guys, we're gonna get some front squats, okay? So I'll spread out my feet from that front rack position. I'm gonna lower my hip crease below my knee and stand up. Well, let's get seven of those. With your dumbbells, of course, those weights are in your front rack position, bazooka position with your dumbbells. Get seven front squats. All right, you guys can place that weight on the floor. So now I'll show you guys the movement of the day, just with no weight. So for, uh, our barbells, well, for both movements, it is a hang squat clean, okay? So we're gonna combine all those movements we just did. So, movement of the workout, I'll deadlift my weight up, whatever that in ends up being. From there, I'm gonna to drop just above my knee. When I jump catch, I wanna jump up catching a squat and stand. That's one rep, then for my next one, and so on, so I do not have to go to the floor each time. These are hang squat cleans today. So, whichever toy we're using, let's go ahead and get five of those. Well, your dumbbells will look like this. All right, let's get five hang squat cleans. Once you guys have done those, so we're gonna build some weight on our barbells. If you have to uh, build to specific weights today, that's great. Um, this workout, the first few rounds not, aren't gonna feel so bad. The later rounds are really gonna be tough because we're gonna be climbing up and hang squat cleans every, every round. So this should be a weight that you're pretty comfortable doing like at least seven, eight in a row, even when you're tired of hang squat cleans. So some of you guys may not have the luxury of building to a weight like that. Hopefully you do, all right? So if you're using dumbbells, using plates, let's go ahead, add weight to our barbell. And once you guys add weight, if you're using, if you're using dumbbells, I want you guys to get five hang squat cleans. If you guys are using a barbell, I want you to get four hang squat cleans. So dumbbells give me five, barbells give me four. So I'm building to 115 today, so my weight's gonna be. Reason being is we had an EMOM, I think towards the beginning of quarantine, and you went up 
or excuse me, went down in reps for 10 minutes starting at 10 with hang squat cleans and uh, that wrecked me at 135. So I think 115 is my weight today. So let's get a second round of hang squat cleans, barbells, give me four, dumbbells, give me five. Team. So our last move of the day is an over-the-bar burpee or over-the-dumbbell burpee. For your dumbbells, you only need to go over one of the dumbbells. You don't have to go over both of them. So remember guys, that's a burpee. And then instead of jumping and clapping, I just jump over my barbell, my dumbbell, and so on. Alright? If you want, you don't want to jump over your toy, you can jump behind it. So you guys go ahead and give me two over the bar burpees. I'll bring you to the board. All right, team, happy Friday and happy birthday, Iron Shot Franklin, our third birthday. Um, great way to start our week, or not our week, our weekend. Um, we're gonna find out, especially with my garage open and some music playing and barbells dropping, hopefully my neighbors don't hate me at the end of today. All right, so here's what we're doing today. Every two and a half minutes, we're gonna do what you see written here, okay? We're gonna start with four hang squat cleans, four over the bar burpees, and a 100 meter run, all right? That's one round, round one. Every round though, we're gonna add one rep to our hang squat cleans and our burpees. So next round, we'd have five hang squat cleans, five over the bar burpees, 100 meter run. Next round, six, 600, seven, 700, eight, 800, and so on and so forth, okay? So we'll do that a total of nine rounds. Now, uh, with the run, if you have somewhere to run, like I have somewhere to run right here outside of my house, good for you, okay? And you can kind of ballpark that 100 meter run. Most people it's gonna take, especially when you're really tired, it's gonna take you probably around 20 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, okay? Unless you're really going hard on those runs. So kind of ballpark that, try to figure out what that looks like in your head. If you're not running at all today, you have a few options, okay? You can either do jumping jacks, 30 jumping jacks, okay? Or you can do side shuffles for 25 seconds, okay? Or you can do high knees for 25 seconds. Okay, so let me repeat that. If you can't run, you don't have anywhere to run, let's either do uh, 30 jumping jacks, 25 seconds of lateral shuffles, or 25 seconds of high knees and that can be your run substitute, all right? So that's how today's gonna work. Your score today is gonna be the weight you use for your hang squat clean, and then it's gonna be however many of these rounds you successfully completed out of nine, okay? So how many rounds did I complete all this stuff within the time frame? Now, if any round you get capped by the time, um, I want you to stay at that rep count for the, remaining, the remainder of the workout. So let's say, on the round of 10, I do 10, 10, 100, but I don't make it in within the time cap. I want to stay with 10, 10, 100 the rest of the rest of the workout. I don't want you to, I don't want you to keep going up. Okay, that's how today's gonna work. All right. So if you guys have questions, ask them in the chat, and uh, I'll try to respond to those before we get started, and we'll get rolling here in just a minute. All right. So there's the workout. I already, already uh, saw a couple walking their dog and they're looking in here like, who the heck is he talking to? My tribe, that's who I'm talking to. All right, any questions?
Any questions? Okay, I'm not seeing any. All right, guys. So let's get started. Cue up some jams. Get your get your mind right. Get yourself in the zone. It's Friday. We're gonna crush this workout. Okay. And we'll get started. All right, guys. We're gonna go in ten seconds. And three, two, one. You guys probably guess what song I'm listening to. It's Friday, Rebecca Black. Fun, 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 fun. All right, guys, about 30 seconds. We'll start round two. Like I said, these first few rounds, they won't feel so bad. It'll catch up to us a little bit later. What's up, Dan and Sarah Taylor? Good morning.
30 seconds, we'll go again. Alright, this is our round of six, guys. 16 squat cleans, six over the bar burpees. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Moving on to round seven. So 30 seconds. We'll do seven hang squat queens, seven of the bird. All right, guys, about 30 seconds. Good morning, Mark Hall. All 
All right, going to our round of eight. Eight hang squat cleans, eight burpees. Going in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. Now it's about starting to get real. Alright, going to our round of nines. Fifteen seconds. Come on, child, I know this is hard. Always talk for me. 
Again, 15 seconds. So last three rounds, this is going to be tough. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Last two rounds, go to 15 seconds.
Last round, best round. Go in 10 seconds. And three, two, one, go. Good job, Tri. That was really hard. I think I did something on the time. I did something wrong. I'm not sure what I did. All right. For those of you guys who are still with me, we'll stretch out for a minute, okay? Wow. That was hard. All right, guys. Start off pretty simple. Just go to a child's pose. Give our lower back a little bit of love.
Now I think about it, I think I got capped on maybe the round of 11. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I started too late. If I did that, my apologies, try. Coaches lose count too. <laughs> All right, let's go to a half kneel. Keep everything in line, chest through your knee, and just lean forward. Yeah, I must have lost count. I must have, uh, I think I started around too late or something. So, my bad, Tribe. Sides. guys <laughs> thanks Stacy what's up Bobby all right guys uh, that does it for our morning workout that was hard that was a good style that felt like a regular iron trap Friday right there don't forget today got a fun event going from 9 30 until 2 o'clock we got four hours and 24 minutes to 1096 burpees so uh, if you're not going to that already Make plans, make it happen. We'd love to see you and throw some water balloons at you. So, uh, should be a nice sunny day. Other than that, guys, bring it in. You know how we do. Fists in. Let's get a tribe on one. Three, two, one, tribe!